It was cold, freezing. The darkness was so thick and oppressive. The doctor found wondering whether the walls and roof were actually fashioned from it, from patches of night sky, resentful that no stars had ever shone in their confines. He had been standing, rooted to the spot, for what seemed like an eternity. His senses were dulled with both pain and the tedium of his incarceration. In this place, the moments, the minutes, the hours seemed so stretched out that the words lost all meaning. He felt his face with numbed fingers, reminded himself of what he was, who he was, and Sam, his companion, his friend, taken from him and held somewhere out there in the blackness. He could picture her growing older as his struggles continued her blonde hair turning grey, her wiry body wisening, her clear young skin wrinkling in this dark and empty place. We know you now, Doctor. The voice was a mocking whisper, but the loudest whisper he had ever heard up close in his ears. We are going to use you to take from you what we need. We have been waiting so long, so patiently, for someone like you, one of us. The sinister voice, a low moan of pleasure. And then we are going to kill you, Doctor. We are going to kill you so slowly, so tenderly, you won't even realise that the moment of your death has come. We will be cloaked in your memory through the eons ahead, for the freezing chill that bred the darkness will make you a monument to us. We'll keep your memory fresh and dead and ours. No one else's. Ours. Forever. The doctor said nothing. Grey blue eyes closed and the thin mouth clamped shut. But he knew the whisper inspector was telling the truth. And he could tell for certain that whatever was speaking to him was utterly mad.